welcome to the Super Dave Osborne Show. Tonight featuring Sue Medley, Donald Glantz, Bernie Weinthal, Fuji Hakayito. Stand by for Super Dave. Welcome to the Super Dave Osborne Show. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Walden. And do we have an exciting show for you tonight? And here he comes right now. Great to see you. Super Dave. And a great morning this has yes. been. I'll tell you that I much. Yes, so. <laughs> it's going to also be a great show. I'm very excited about tonight. I've got a brand new area to show you later on. I'll be doing a stunt, a great action studio. And I am so thrilled to show you my new Equestrian Academy. You know how I love to ride yes. and uh, how I love dressage. Well, I'm gonna show you everything tonight. I'm gonna show you some horses, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the man that's really helped, Donald Glans, and we go riding every morning. I didn't know that you two rode together. Oh, we don't. I just run beside Super and check for potholes. We did about 20 miles this morning, and uh, it makes you feel good. You know, it's one with the animal. And uh, let me take you on a quick tour, Michael. I'll see you in the dressage area. Bye. All right, pal. All right. It's gonna be a great show. Right. Uh, Donald, I wanna say a couple of things about this area, and it's sure. very important. When you come here, Make sure you've got someone from the Super Dave compound with you. Absolutely. From the equestrian area. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Because even though these horses look adorable, they all know me, of course. Come here, Don. <laughs> uh, you've got to be careful. Oh, okay? Sure, yeah. You don't know who you're feeding or what you're doing or what you're feeding to them. You only feed them the Super Dave feed. Right. And what basically do we feed these horses for treats? Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Super? Huh? Oh, it's kibble. Here's Darla. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, Darla. This is the most adorable horse on the compound. Anybody who comes here can feed Darla, pet Darla, ride Darla. Absolutely sweet. Okay, I don't want to take up too much time. Here is a very special area. It's where we wash the horses. This yep. is Celeste and Brima, and this is Anna right here. Here's the horse right here. And uh, all the horses get washed every day, so they're always clean. And we have classes in washing your yep. horse, which is very important. You've got to keep your animals clean. You betcha. Over here is our tack shop, uh -huh. and this is sensational. Uh, we've got more saddles, I believe, than any other equestrian area. Uh, we've got saddles for English riding, for Western riding, uh, for racing, and for stunt work, which is great. And I want to show you this. This was Donald's brain child. <laughs> This is the SD brand. Explain what we do. Well, Super Courts, as you know, we don't believe in cruelty to animals. So we, what we like to do is we like to brand the riders and stuff. So if someone is pulled over and they don't have a brand on them, we know they shouldn't be on that. Right, right. All right, now here's an area I absolutely love. It's my brand new Super Dave Dressage Arena. Hello, Michael. Super. Is this gorgeous or what? I'm really impressed, yes. Well, it's a beautiful place to work out a horse. Uh, here is my attorney, Bernie Weichel. Hello, Bernie. How's your workout with Psycho? Great. Yeah. You've been working, what, a couple hours with him? Oh, a couple hours, yes. All right, well, we're going to be doing another workout here. Oh, and yeah. if you just take Cyclone into the uh, stable there and get oh, him out right. of the way. Come on. Just take him right through that door there. Right through that door over there. Stupid. Right over there in the stables. Whoa. That opening behind you. Right over there is where we want to go. Paul, come over here, please. This is Jean-Paul Perret, and uh, he is one of the finest riders in all of North America. I am so thrilled to have him here, and he's got the championship horse, Sultan, and he's going to do some dressage work for you, and you're going to be absolutely mystified. Go ahead, Jean-Paul. That's such a magnificent animal. Oh, you bet. If you would tell us what you're doing. Now, it's a shoulder in left. Shoulder in left. A circle left. Circle left. 
look at the control he has over that horse. It will follow with a half pass left. Half pass left? <laughs> a circle right. Circle right. <laughs> right now, he would already have the bronze Next, medal. A half pass right. Half pass right. Absolutely beautiful. Another shoulder in left. Shoulder in left. It's basically what Bernie was doing with a little more control. With some length in the stride. Length in the stride. Look at that. We're looking at a gold medal. All right, terrific. I wish we had more time. If you'd hop down or uh, talk to you for a second. And Don was going to go to Lundgren. Absolutely. Uh, I can't tell you how, again how thrilled I am to have you here. What I'm going to do right now I'm going to show beginning dressage moves. Of course, I'm an expert, as you well know. I showed you quite a few things. Uh, incidentally, this man learns so fast, I can't tell you. Uh, you just, uh, I show you something, you got it the next day. It's unbelievable. What I'm going to show you right now, if you'll take the uh, salt and away for a minute, is basically, if you'll take him over there, basically how you learn to control a horse for dressage. Uh -huh. It's much different than training for a race or something like that, because here you've got a rope and the horse. So you've got a distance. You can't look at the horse in the eye or anything else. You just have to have a presence about yourself so the horse knows that here I am, uh, I'm in control. So what I do is try to send a message through the line, through the lunge line, all the way to the horse so he knows what I'm talking about. Now, if I didn't have this power, how would the horse let me know that I was not in control? It will let you know. How? I'm done. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the star of the Super Dave Osborne Show, the one, the only, Super Dave Osborne. next guest has been on the show before, and from your reaction, you couldn't wait to have her back. Let's really give a great Super Dave welcome to Sue Medley doing Dangerous Times. We are living dangerous times, and all God's children have learned how to fight. Shedding their young blood, shedding their tears. They can go on living their life in fear. They watch their empires rise and fall. Ghostly reflections. To crumble the walls So many innocents Tried to stand tall Only to be knocked down Battered and
Markham Suites, Canada's premier all-suite hotel, is pleased to provide luxurious accommodations for guests of Super Dave. Markham Suites adds a new dimension to first class. Okay, uh, I need someone to throw it to Mike Walden. Who would like to do that? Okay. Um, yes, you, sir. Give this man a hand. Thank What's your name? Dave Ellis. And what do you do, Dave? Uh, I'm a teacher. Oh, great. That's <laughs> sensational. What do you teach? Uh, outdoor education. Oh, terrific. Oh, well, you know I'm a master at that. <laughs> um, if you all look right into the camera there, mm -hmm. and you could tell a little joke or something, and give me some time, because i got to go see Mike Walden. Fine. Let's say take it away, Mike Walden. Okay. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. was a fellow that uh, had always wanted to be a stunt man and he finally got his big break and the first stunt that he had to do was to jump out of an airplane with a parachute and the time came and he jumped pulled the ripcord nothing happened as he's going down he's frantically looking around and just then he saw a fella coming up so he had the inspiration and he said to him hey do you know anything about parachutes the fella coming up said no do you know anything about exploding camp stoves <laughs> Now, take it away, Mike Walden.
Hasn't this been a fantastic show? Indeed it has. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Walden, and now comes the PC resistance, something you're going to remember for a long, long time. I'm standing here at the northernmost uh, point of the compound area, and here is the opening of another brand new area, and this is an area that has been special. Here he comes now, the Super One, on his four-wheel championship minibike. Hello, How you Super. Doing, pal? Great oh. to see you. And a great show, too. Well, thank you very much. Uh, We've got an Emmy tonight that will make it an award winner, I'm oh, quite I, I sure. I can see the excitement in yeah, your face. Yeah, it's been going crazy here at the compound all week. Uh, we've had uh, people uh, trying to come up and see this new area. It's our bungee jumping area. Bungee? <laughs> well, how did you get this idea? Well, people have been writing in. And you know, I've been watching uh, uh, in the movies and on television, uh, they've attempted some bungee jumps. And uh, I didn't like the idea of it, the way it was being done. Because, you know, I stress safety always at the compound. Absolutely. Michael, and, uh, I think what we've done here is uh, open up a bungee school where the public will be able to come here and watch and uh, really see what goes on. And if you care to jump, I think you'll feel free uh, to know that you're very safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you go to other bungee areas, it's not safe. Uh, so it's going to be very exciting. Come on in here, Fuji. Fuji, Hakuhito. Hello, Hello Fuji. Super. Hello, Mike. Very special day for the Fuji. Uh, he's been with the compound now, uh, I believe, 12 years. And, uh, celebrate this anniversary. Last year we gave him a sweater and this year we gave him another button. <laughs> yeah. Next year we're going to kind of hold it so we can work it. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, Fuji, explain what we're doing here at the bungee school that makes our school different. Oh, our school very special. It is different because we have strict discipline like an army. Each jump out does the same thing every time. Mm -hmm. When the weight goes off, there's mantra. Mantra. Well, yeah, let me show you. Excuse me, Fuji. Uh, the normal jumper, say this is a regular bridge, he's going to come up here and he's going to jump and scream his lungs out. The odds are anything can happen. What we do is we have our jumpers, first of all, sit down, which is very important because you get a different view sitting down. You feel more comfortable, all right? Yes. So you sit down. Then what we do is we throw off a little dummy uh, about half the size with the exact weight of the jumper. Oh. So it goes off. Now, when the dummy goes off, the jumper will yell down the kind of jump he's going to jump. I'm going to do a leg jump or whatever, mm -hmm. OK? At that moment, the coach, and every jumper has a coach, will give this man a mantra, or woman. Uh, you know, we don't restrict here. Mm -hmm. And uh, today's mantra is what? Blue sky, clear air, and the weight is perfect. So I'm sitting here. My weight has been thrown off. My coach is yelling, blue skies, clean air. The weight is perfect. So where's my concentration? It's on this instead of that. You follow me? Yes, I do. I'm not concentrating on, ooh, am I going to hurt myself? I'm concentrating on blue skies, clean air. My weight is perfect. I'm safe to go. Well, okay. Does, does the wind have any, uh, is no. that a factor? No, there is no factor if you follow this regimen. Ah, I see. And tonight, we're going to show you. We've got three of our top jumpers here. Incidentally, they will be jumping here every four hours on the compound. We're going to be having tremendous uh, bungee shows, and we have Joe down there. Joey, can you see me? Joey's our special bungee cameraman, mm. and he'll be down there. He'll be uh, putting you on tape, so when you go home and you say you were at the compound and you jumped 130 feet, yeah. you'll have proof. Oh, that's a great idea. All right, come on up here, young man. This is Austin. Now, Austin is a sensational jumper. What are you going to do today for us? Ankle drop. An ankle drop. You won't believe this. Joey, have you got Austin here? All right, pal. All right, Austin. Now, if you'll get in the seated position, please. Uh, we've already thrown Austin's weight off. Uh, and We've done that with the other two jumpers who are going to jump. But I'm going to go through the regimen anyway, OK? So he would be sitting here. I would be his coach, all right? Fuji, if you would come here, please. All right. Pretend as coach. I'm going to go here. I'm going to throw his weight off. I'm doing an ankle drop. Blue skies, clean air, and the weight is perfect. <laughs> See, man, he's getting to feel this regimen. Yeah. Doesn't that make you feel good? Well, it's a little frightening. Well, of course it is. 130 feet to rocks. <laughs> Blue skies, clean air, and the weight is perfect. Good job, 
Costa, beautiful. Did you see that? Was that, that good? Was great, absolutely. All right, uh, how much time do we have? Uh, just a couple of minutes, Super. All right, what I'm going to do, you saw he went off by the ankle. Yes. I'm going to do something that is very rarely done. I'm going off by the waist. The waist? You are going to love it. Uh, Jack, if we've got a shot of Austin, maybe at a different camera, let's run it, and I'll put on my harness. By the time we come back, it sh I should be ready. Was that sensational? Great. Uh, I have to say one thing, Michael. I do not advocate bungee jumping. The only reason we do it here is because we know what we're doing and we're safe. And what I'm going to do right now is a waist jump, which has never really been done before. I always like to break new grounds. But notice, even the great one has a spotter. Frank, would you spot me? It's very important. I don't care who you think you are or how great you think you are, always have a spotter. All right. I'm going to do a waist jump, probably with a couple of flips. You have to throw your weight off. Ah, food. You're talking about the super one. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, super, wait. We have to follow strict rules of discipline. We throw a weight off, then give you a mantra. All right, throw my weight off. Give me my mantra. Blue skies, green air, the weight is tied to your waist. You're f***ing me. Yeah! <laughs> That was sensational. Oh, help me, Pudge. I'm in pain. How <laughs> close you are. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. This is Mike Walden. And if you want more of the same excitement and more of the same thrills jam-packed into a half hour, then be sure and join us next for another episode of the Super Dave Osborne Show. Oh, Super Dave, are you with it? Yeah, how about an ambulance? My entire life is broken. <laughs> the super one needs an ambulance. I can hear you, Mike. I'll bungee one down. What did he say? He said he'll bungee one right down. Tell him to forget it. I'm starting to feel better. I feel myself slipping into unconsciousness. <laughs> my life is flashing before my eyes. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's filled with color. Yellows and blues, reds, greens, plaids, stripes. It's spectacular. I must be in heaven. I've got to take a closer look. Oh, darn it. I'm not in heaven. I'm trapped in Mike Walden's hamper. <laughs> Good night, everybody.